Hello, my friends. Happy Sunday. Guess what? Are you ready? I'm ready. You want to know what for? We are ready today. It's March and we are ready to start our Easter unit. All right, now are you ready? I am so ready. I love these stories. I love teaching this to you guys and I love seeing how you guys grasp things and then go out and spread the word of God. All right, so these are five of the best stories. Everybody give me five. Give me a high five. All right, so we have five stories, right? Five colors and five action words. So here's how we start. Each Sunday, we're gonna start with our action words. So the first one is what? Everybody say it really loud. Praise, right, okay? And it's green is our color that goes with praise and it goes with Palm Sunday when Jesus entered Jerusalem. So we're gonna talk about that today. What's the next one? You guys remember from last year? What is it? Serve, right? Serve goes with the Last Supper when Jesus came as the King and taught us to serve by washing the disciples' feet, right? Next week, we're going to talk all about that. And he said to remember him. Yeah, we're going to talk all about that. All right, what's the next one? After serve, we come up with, you guys got it? I got it finally. <gasps> Pray. When, it's a story when Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Do you guys remember that word, that garden name? All right, hang on to it. See if in two weeks you can still remember. And he goes and he prays. He talks to God. Who's his father, right? He goes and talks to God. He takes a couple of guys with him. Anybody remember who they were? All right, we'll talk about that in two weeks. And then the next one, sacrifice. The story of Jesus dying on the cross, right? And we use the color red for the blood that was shed on the cross. For who? That's right, for you and for me. We're going to talk a lot about this. We're going to um, talk about a Good Friday service we're going to do, okay? So we're going to be talking about sacrifice. And then the last one, my absolute favorite, is hope. All right? And what is that story? He is risen Easter Sunday, and there's going to be so many exciting things to talk about. So we're going to talk a lot about this, special events, special Easter services, so much. So those are our five action words, but let's get started with our story for today. You guys remember which one? I just said it. Jesus enters what city? Was it Canaan? Was it Bethlehem? Was it Jerusalem? Yes, it was Jerusalem. And think about these people. They have been waiting for generations They've been told a savior is coming and word is starting to get around because Jesus has been going and feeding 5,000 and changing water to wine and the word's coming around and finally they hear Jesus is coming to their city. So let's act this out. Do you guys remember how to act it out? I'll give you a clue. Daddies make really good donkeys for this story. All right, so look at daddy and say, dad, will you be the donkey? All right, and so we usually act this one out. What are the people in Jerusalem, what do you think they were doing? Now Jerusalem, it was a big city, but did it have skyscrapers and all kinds of big, you know, buses going by? No, no. What would the people be doing? Maybe they were carpenters. Maybe they were bread makers. Ooh, I love that. Maybe their mama's taking care of babies and sweeping and cleaning things around. Maybe there always has to be at least one going fresh fish, fresh fish, carrying the fish, selling it. It was the marketplace. It would look more like if you went to Nashville's farmer's market, right? Okay, so all these people in the city and Jesus comes riding the donkey into Jerusalem. And what do they do? They stop. They stop everything they're doing, throw down their brooms, lay down their cloaks, or their jackets, right? They'll lay them down and make a beautiful path for Jesus, the king, to enter. And they pick up palm branches and they lift them up and they say, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest praise to the king. Oh, what a glorious moment it must have been, right? Can you guys find something around and just like lift it up, maybe a scarf, maybe you have a branch outside. You could do it when you act it out. All right, and think about praising King Jesus coming into Jerusalem. Now, there were some people that weren't as thrilled. Most of the people were so excited, but there was a couple of guys. Do you remember what they were called? That is right, the Pharisees. 
And they did not want Jesus coming in. They did not want the people loving Jesus and following Jesus because they wanted to be in charge. They were selfish and they wanted to be in charge and they didn't want anyone following Jesus. They wanted everyone just to follow them. So there were the big bad Pharisees. Who gets to act that out in your family? Who gets to, who wants to be the downright dirty one, the mean one? All right. So somebody's acting that out, the Pharisees. Do you remember what they said? They went right to Jesus and they said, make your people stop. Woo. And what did Jesus say? If my people stop praising me, the rocks will cry out. Whoa, cut, end of scene. That's where we ended in TVC Kids. But could you imagine those Pharisees' faces thinking, oh my, we're in big trouble. Those people are not going to start stop praising, just like we're not going to stop praising, right? What would you guys think if Jesus just walked into your street today? You're sitting outside playing. You stop everything because Jesus comes. Wouldn't you worship him? Wouldn't you praise him? You may not have palm branches, but maybe you have um, your arms just to lift up and praise him, right? All right, that's what I would do too. So how does it change your life? to praise. Do you ever think about that? I'm going to tell you, well, it's not a secret, but something you may not remember. You were created to praise. That is one of the biggest, that's one of the biggest things we were created to do. All right. God made us to praise him. So here we are. We could be praising him, praising his son every day. And it does change us. If that's what we were created to do, it does change us. Is it easy to be grumpy when you're praising the Lord? Not so much. Is it easy to be mean to your sister and brothers when you're praising the Lord? Not so much. Is it easy to be kind? Yes. Is it easy to remember to be thankful when you're praising? Yeah. All right, we've been doing Thankful Thursdays, made that big, long praise chain. I hope you guys will think about this this week. Why should we praise the Lord? Because we were created to praise. Why should we praise the Lord? Because He is mighty. He is holy. He is worthy of all praise. You got it? All right, that's the easiest of those five stories we're going to talk about. But I know it's, it's really important too. So I know it's a simple story, but I hope you guys will take that in this week. All right? So I have a couple things to introduce to you. You may not have received them yet, but in the next day or two, you guys are going to receive some new journals. And we have two going out. And I just want to say thank you to Miss Jenny and to Miss Tia and to Miss Jennifer and to Miss Morgan. All right, all these people that have worked so hard to get out our journals, even through the snowstorm and everything else. So I want to let you guys know if you're a preschooler, if you're in the second, the two, three, and four year old class, the yellow, the blue, and the green, you guys don't usually get journals, but I just thought since everybody's home, wouldn't it be fun for you to have one too? So we made some special journals just for the preschoolers. And you guys, you're gonna learn the same stories that we're learning, but check out Bible Stories with Bella each Saturday. Because each Saturday, she's going to go through your journal, which is a little different than the big kid's journal. They're still coloring things and stickers, but there's all kinds of things to color and things to design. But she's going to go through these stories again with you, all right, and go through your journal with you. Also, if you have even younger kids, younger than preschools, if your sisters or brothers are teeny tiny ones, Bella's starting to do something on Wednesdays called Bible Stories with Bella Tiny Tots our tiny tot TV seers. And so she's doing that on Wednesday. So tell your, your itty bitties and your mommies to check that out too. So that's where the preschoolers watch Bella and she's gonna go through that. So either on Wednesdays or Saturdays, check Bella out. She's gonna go through with, with you. Now, big kids, K through one, yours are gonna come in in a purple envelope, but it's gonna be a yellow folder. All right. And I wanna show you what the first pages are. There's coloring things and stickers, of course, but after the, um, after the little note that tells you how much I love you and how excited I am to teach you this, there's our first pages, our journal. And guess what? There's one for praise. There's one for serve. There's one for pray. There's one for sacrifice. And there's one for hope. And there's the dates of every day from today through Easter. And have you guys ever heard how people sometimes will give things up for this time between now and Easter? 
Yeah, and that's a great thing to do. But I thought we'd just take a little different angle on it. And instead, we're going to do something. We're going to put our faith in action, just like our action words, right? And so what I want you guys to do is on your praise page. So Sunday, March 7th, this will be today. If you don't get your book for a couple days, just skip them. No problem. But on Sunday, March 7th, write something you praise God for. All right. And then the same thing. Turn the page. <gasps> Write something you're going to serve, how you're going to serve on March 7th. That's today. All right. And then the same thing. What are you praying for? And then the same thing. What are you going to sacrifice? And then the same thing. What are you going to hope for? So can we do this every single day between now and Easter? It's good for me to do. Guess what? It's good for your mom and dad to do too. So I hope you guys will just fill these up. And they're great to look back and say, oh yeah, that's what I was thankful for. That's what I was praising God for. But it'll be a great way to start our journal. And then of course, after those pages, you'll have your um, journal pages for this week's story, which was Palm Sunday and talking all about, those are your, those are your questions for this week. You guys could go through them. You guys will do fine on those. And I gave you a little, a little bit of the story up top and then you'll illustrate the story as well. Okay. So those are, those are the first instructions in your book. Of course, decorate your cover, but I had one more thing, you know, if you're going to go through every day and you're going to, um, write the things you're praising God for, write the things you're talking for. Sometimes do you ever draw a blank? Do you ever just go, huh? Oh, what can I think about? So I wrote up some questions for you. So all the way in the back of your book, you'll find some little slips and they look like this. You just cut them up, put them in a bowl. All right. Or a basket. It's Easter, whatever you want to do. And then you can do this, but you can have your brothers and sisters. You can all do it together. You can have your mom and dad do it with you. Pick out something that's a green slip and see, let's see. Praise God for something in nature. That's easy. All right, I love flowers. I love that my daffodils are blooming right now. All right, maybe pick out one that's purple. Let me see if I can find a purple one. Serve a neighbor with a job done for them. So I'm giving you guys some specific things so that you don't have to think of everything on your own. All right, so when you write them in the book, they could be these or they could be whatever you want to do to serve, whatever you want to do to um, sacrifice, whatever you want to do to um, pray for someone, right? All right, here's, here's another, let's talk about pray. Pray for someone who's lonely. Do you guys know during this whole COVID time, there's been a lot of people who have been lonely. So think about it, take some time. Take some time and think about someone who's lonely. And then let me see, I'm gonna pull out one more red and one more yellow. Sacrifice by giving one of your favorite things to someone else. I love seeing your favorite things online when you guys send me pictures and when I talk to you guys, but maybe pass along that to someone else, someone that would love that. And then what do you hope for, for your future? All right. Wouldn't that be wonderful to share that with God? Sit down and talk to God about that. He already knows, but talk to him, spend some time with him. So I hope you guys will make a big bowl full of these are found right in the back of your journals, but spend some time doing that as a family. And I have one last thing to tell you. We're going to talk more about it next week, but everyone mark your calendar. Say, mom, mom, mark the calendar. March 28th, we are going to get together. It's Palm Sunday. We're going to do Palm Sunday in the park and we're going to get together and make our Easter project. Dun, da, da, da. So every year we make an Easter project. It's one of my favorite things to do this year. We're going to get your whole family together. We'll sit on a blanket and we'll make the Easter project. And I'll tell you more about that next week when we have a little bit more time. All right, you guys, I love you. I hope you're having a wonderful week. That was a lot to start Easter with, right? But get those journals, start journaling in there, draw those stories. And um, I'm going to check back with you next week when we talk about our next action word and our next story. Oh, one last thing. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And so tomorrow we're going to start our study of the story of St. Patrick. So every day in the next week and a half or so, check in. It's a really great story about a wonderful missionary. So, so much to do, so many things to connect about and so many things to praise the Lord for. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.